Today, I'm going to go over the Taeguk pump saves pattern, Taeguk Yijak, number two. And if you want to know more about the history of these patterns and pump saves, I've put a link in the description below. Te means bigness, and guk means eternity. Thus, Taeguk is limited by neither time nor space. It has no end, no form, and therefore contains the essence of all things. Taeguk Yijang relates to the principle Te of Palgui. This is not the same as the Te of Te Guk, as can be seen from its Chinese character. Te here means joyfulness and represents a serene and gentle state of mind which is inwardly firm. Taeguk Pumpsi Yijang, number two, with explanation of moves. To start with, we start in the chumbi position. I'm then going to move my left leg to my left, and we're going to step out into a walking stance, and we're going to then do a low section block at the same time. As I step, my hands come up, ready. They're protecting myself. As I step out with my left, I then bring down my left hand into that low section block. From here, I'm going to step through with my right leg into a forward stance. At the same time, I'm going to do a front punch midsection with my right hand. From here, I'm going to turn 180 degrees to my right, and I'm going to do in, and then I'm going to do is a walking stance with my right foot. At the same time, I'm going to do a low section block with my right hand. So I step up. As I step up, my hands come across my body to protect myself, and they're in the position ready to do the actual block. As I turn and step round and step out into that walking stance, I then bring my hands down into that low section block. From here, I'm going to step through into a forward stance, and then I'm going to punch with my left hand midsection. As I'm stepping through, I'm coming out, and as you see, I step and punch at the same time. From here, I'm going to turn to my left. I'm going to step with my left leg. It's going to step into a walking stance. At the same time, I'm going to then do a midsection block from the out to the in with my right hand. So I'm going to step up. As I step up, my left hand comes up to protect. My right hand comes up ready for the actual block itself. So as I'm turning and stepping out with my left foot into that walking stance, my left hand comes back on the hip and my right hand comes through and does that out in midsection block. From here, we're going to step forward with my right foot into a walking stance. And at the same time, we're going to do the midsection block with my left hand from the outside to the in. So as I step through, my right hand turns over, my left hand comes up. As I step out with my right foot, my left hand comes in, my right hand comes back on the hip. From here, then we're going to step up with my left foot and then step out to the left in a walking stance. At the same time, we're going to do a low section block with my left hand. So I'm going to step up, my hands are crossed ready to chamber. From here then, as I step out with my left, I bring down and we bring the low section block. From here, we're going to kick with our right foot. We're going to do a front kick face section and we're going to follow through into a forward stance with the right foot and we do a front punch and we're doing it face section. From here, so I kick, I come back, my hand is back chambered as I'm stepping out into that forward stance. I'm doing a front punch to the face section. From here, I'm going to turn. We're going to turn all the way around 180 degrees to the back, to the right hand side. And we're going to do the same as we've just done. We're going to step with our right foot into a walking stance. And we're going to do a low section block with the right hand. So I step up. As I step up, my hands are crossed, they're chambered. As I'm stepping round, as you see, it's all protecting myself. And as I step out 
we do the actual low section block. From here we're going to do the same again, we're going to do the front kick, face section, follow through with the forward stance and we're doing the front punch, face section. So I come up, as I come up I kick, I chamber, as I step down and out I do the actual front punch, face section. From here we're going to step to my left with my left foot, we're going to go into a walking stance and we're going to do a rising block, face block with the left hand. So I step up, my hands are in the position to do the actual block. As I step out, I do the actual rising block. And I'm going to step through again. I'm going to step with the right leg, stepping through into the walking stance. And we're going to do a rising block with the right hand. So I step through, block. From here, I'm going to turn to my back with my left foot. I'm going to turn all the way around to face the wall. At the same time, I'm going to do a midsection block with my right hand. So I'm stepping with my left leg and I'm doing a block with my right hand. So as I'm stepping, my hand, my left hand comes up, my right hand comes down, ready in that position to do the midsection block. As I'm stepping round with my left into that stance, I'm then going to come through. My left hand is already here. It just follows through. My left hand comes through, my right hand comes through into the midsection and we do the midsection block. From here, all we're going to be doing, we're going to just pivot on the balls of our feet. I'm going to turn 180 degrees back round to the right here. We're doing with a right foot walking stance and we're going to come through with the left midsection block from the out to in. So I'm stepping, I'm chambering. My left hand comes up ready for the block. My right hand comes down. As I'm pivoting on my feet and coming all the way around, we come into that midsection block. From here, we're going to step out with the left foot forward 90 degrees. So from here, we're going 90 degrees back down the room. We're going to do a low section block and we, with our left hand and we're doing a walking stance with the actual left foot. So from here, I step up and I step out and as I'm stepping out I'm doing the low section block. From here I'm going to step through, I'm stepping through with my right foot, I'm going to do a front kick to the face section and then following through into the walking stance with my right foot we do a midsection plunge with the right hand. So from here I chamber, I kick, I come down, as I'm coming down stepping into that stance I'm coming through with a punch at the same time. So as we step and land at the same time, we do the punch at the same time. From here, I'm gonna kick with my left leg. I'm doing a front kick, face section. I follow through as before into the walking stance with my left leg and I'm doing a front punch mix section with my left hand. I kick, I come down and through, step out. As I'm stepping out, I'm punching at the same time. And to complete the move, we're doing the same again. We're kicking with our right foot, front kick, face section, followed through by the actual punch with the right hand in the walking stance. And when we finish, we key up at the same time. From here, I'm going to step with my left leg. We step all the way around to the back, back into the chumbi position. We come back into the chumbi position. From here, I step in with my left foot. My hands go down by the side, and then we bow. And that is the Tegut Pumse pattern, which I hope will help you when you're trying to learn and practice it. Below, somewhere in this bottom left or top corner, is the next video on Pumse's and patterns for you to go and learn and practice for yourself. So why not go check them out? And as always, until the next time, Gamsa Henida. When you're doing the actual Pumse Tegut Yijang number two, here are just a couple of pointers to remember. When you're doing the midsection block, make sure when you're doing the actual block, you block and you finish on the center line. So you finish blocking on the center line and you block the height of it is at shoulder height. So the knuckles are in the same height as your shoulders. 
Also make sure that the wrist is straight. Both sides here, it's nice and strong and straight. At the same time, when you're doing the rising block, remember the distance from your head to your fist is one fist distance out. At the same time, you've got that one fist distance out, the wrist where you're blocking is on the center line of your body. Like so, it's one fist distance out and the center line. So make sure you bear that in mind when you're doing those blocks. The other point to remember as well is when at the end of the move when you're going down, when you're doing the actual kick and the punch, the kick and the punch um, will be landing at the same time. In the sense if you kick, as you're going down and stepping down into that walking stance and you finish with the walking stance, the punch finishes at the same time. So you kick, as you're kicked, your hand, your wrist, your wrist is back on the hip. So as I'm stepping down, I'm punching at the same time. So we kick, punch, and land at the same time as the actual stance. And there are just some pointers to remember 